Basically, if a, a young person is having new neurologic symptoms like numbness, weakness, uh, trouble with their vision, memory difficulties, extreme fatigue. So it can either be a focal neurologic symptom or a more diffuse neurologic symptom, but in a young person that should prompt them to go to see their neurologist. So typically when a person has symptoms that we think might be related to MS, we see them in the office, we get a very thorough history, uh, we go over their medications, other medical problems that they may have, we do a very thorough examination to see if there are signs on the examination that would lead us to believe that the central nervous system or the spinal cord uh, is affected. And if that's the case, the most sensitive test for MS is an MRI of the brain and of the spinal cord. In the last 20 years, we have had 10 medicines get approved by the FDA after thorough clinical studies for the treatment of MS. So prior to 1993, we had no medicine for multiple sclerosis. Now we have four different injectable medications, interferon, copaxone, we have three oral medications, uh, Jelenia, Obagio, and a new one that just got approved a few weeks ago, Tecfidera. And we have an IV medication uh, that's very potent uh, at suppressing disease activity, Tysabri. And we probably have another three or four in the pipeline coming out in the next few years. So it's been a very exciting time in treating MS.